back again for the Quit Jerking Off initiative <laughs> above Jerome, rope rescue training for the crew, and then I had to bring on my buddy Brian, who I was actually did rope rescue with for yeah nearly 10 years yeah. until I retired from it. Um, and he, he and I, Clint, he and Clint and I worked together out there in the rescue unit, and I've talked about that before with Clint. Um, and the reason I really want, I was looking forward to have you on here is because quite, there was a, a conversation we had 2015. I just merged my business with somebody else, just took on a partner, was going at this thing as, if, one, I didn't know how to take on a partner. What do you do in that environment, right? How do you build your business around that? And you had just taken on a new role in your work and you had shared with me the book, The Goal. And that was one of the most life-changing conversations I've ever had. And it put me on a completely different trajectory. So um, let's go back that back to that day. Do you remember remember that conversation? Yeah, it was good whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I I do, and we've we've talked about that a couple of times since, and it still challenges me. Like I, like I said, I've always wanted to have like that one conversation with somebody that was like life altering, mm-hmm. but you don't realize it in the moment until you you know, hear back from it a, a couple of years later. It's like, hey, I read this cool book. You know, I've read a dozen books that I've suggested to other people throughout the years, and you know, I love reading books and I love recommending them if I enjoyed them. But um, it's kind of like the intersection of timing and luck have to cross at the right moment for it to have that kind of impact. And uh, you know, probably the first and only time that might happen in my life is somebody was receptive enough to have that that experience. Be like, oh, I'm, I remember you pulled up your phone right away. You pulled up Amazon. You're like, done, got it, bought it. I'm like, great, good, good for you. I'll read it. <laughs> yep. And it's a great book. It's all about the theory of constraints and exploiting bottlenecks. And uh, man, it, it was it was powerful for me too. Well, because of how you presented it and how powerful it was, and the story you shared about it, it completely just won your presentation. I was open to the presentation. Plus, I was in a point in my life where I was like, okay, what do I do next? I don't know what to do here. I've been kind of successful with my own business. It's working, but now I got to take on somebody else and what's going on there. I have these dynamics. We have this team that he's had that I'm having to integrate into my world. What do I do with it? And you literally, the timing was perfect. I was receptive, and you had the information I needed. And when I look, when I read that, the theory of constraints, understanding bottlenecks, and really it was, it was changing the process. I took the process and I presented to change the process, and they didn't like it. But then our, our partnership, I didn't say it failed, he decided to just quit the partnership, which was the greatest thing that could have happened to my business. At, at the time, it sucked. But it was the greatest thing that could happen, and I was able to implement what, what I learned from the, from the goal and from that conversation with you. And it took my business, one, I had to fight the whole world to believe me that I was right. In the, the My industry is completely contrary to what my industry says that we should be doing. And you know, we went through the freaking group. I mean, I... The average person in my industry closes three to four transactions a month. I close 6.99 a day. So, and a lot of it comes from you being willing to share that conversation. 